Hey everybody, it's been a while since I did a um, an artist update and I wanted to share what I've been doing today. Um, I decided to come outside, it's Saturday, November the 5th. I've been doing a lot of um, work with my loving, wise, and well ancestors. This is a really great time of year to connect with our ancestors. Uh, they're helping me um, dig deeper in facing fear and a lot of what is happening is um, connected to my body and my root chakra and the, the things that have been coming up have been showing themselves in my artwork and I wanted to show you um, a couple of drawings that I've done in my, in my notebook so I'm going to flip the camera so you're looking at a fresh self-portrait um, that I did today while sitting outside. Um, I live in a really beautiful part of DC. I live on 16th Street, it's the Meridian. Um, if you're into energy medicine and healing, you'll know that um, the Meridian in DC is very, very powerful in terms of the energy and the chakras the seven chakras that's another story for another time but anyway I wanted to share what this um, with this drawing represents and so lately I've been um, feeling a lot of things um, I've noticed that it's a lot of fear and if you're into human design it's been um, the fear that is coming up through my open center my open root center which is the root chakra and so today I drew a self-portrait um, of myself. I have red lips and red eyes and red hair and a red background um, because it represents the root chakra, which is um, a, the chakra that allows you to trust in your safety and your security. And when it's imbalanced, um, that's where fear comes up and through. And so, long story short, um, you'll see that there are lines going across, like right here, different lines that are going across. And that represents what happens to me when fear takes over. And the note that I wrote on here is that open root center fears taking over my vision of what's real. And so when fear takes over I'm not able to see what's really here and today I decided to list all the fears um, one of the things that I've been working on for the last couple of years is befriending my fears by naming them calling them out um, allowing them to manifest and, and show up in my artwork so let me just share a couple of the fears um, some of the biggest fears I have is not having enough, not doing enough, not being enough, dying alone. Um, that was a really big fear at the beginning of the pandemic. My parents dying, that was a big fear. Um, it still remains a fear. Being vulnerable, um, not being safe as a, as a African American woman, not being relevant as a 57 year old uh, woman, uh, not being loved, not leaving a legacy, not being heard or seen, not being partnered, um, being abandoned. So those are the fears that I listed. Um, and when they take over, my vision gets, um, it gets blurred and I don't see what's real. So I also wanted to show you um, a really powerful drawing that came through earlier in the week. And so I've been working with an ancestral medicine healer, uh, Jamari Michael White, and he's helping me tap into my ancestors, the loving, wise, and well ancestors. And um, I've always had a relationship with my ancestors, and with Jamari's help, I am getting in touch with the loving, wise, and well ancestors on my father's mother's side. And enlisting their support and helping me um, share my story 
in my art, in my work, in my ancestor story, in the healing. Um, so this says, um, they've been leaving me messages in my art, in my poetry, in my journal. And so this message says, welcome, sweet one. We are here waiting for your invitation for support. Call on us, your loving, wise, and well ancestors. We are ready to give our ancestral medicine. And so what happened was, this is a picture of an ancestor. I, I don't know who it is in terms of a name, but I do know that she's an ancestor. And she has gold hair and brown skin and red lips. And all the different dots represent all of the different nuggets of wisdom and wellness and love and healing that she and my loving well wise, my loving well and wise ancestors have for me and so right here it says my woman line it's loving wise and well ancestors thank you for sharing showing up and shining out i welcome you i honor and appreciate you so that's my message to them so that was one drawing and then I wanted to show you another drawing that happened earlier this happened on November 1st I was allowing myself space to draw on All Souls Day which is typically a day where I take time out to honor my my family members that have made their transition and so this is an Andinkra symbol and it is from a Ghanaian Andinkra set that I pulled. I pulled a card on November 1st, and I'll have to come back and tell you what the symbol is because I forgot to write it down, but it represents service, leadership with love and humility. And the note that came from this, the message that I got from my loving, wise, and well ancestors is that my woman line loving, wise, and well ancestors remind me I am a leader who leads from a place of love, humility, and service. They call me to speak my truth because what I think, feel, say, and do matters. They remind me I am relevant. I matter just as I am. So that's what I have for you for right now. I'll be in touch and sharing more. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.